Hey, hey, welcome back. Hope you guys are well. So I've been making these wine bottle holders and these are pretty sweet. A lot of people like these things. So I wanted to show you how I make them, but I've got something I've been holding on to since I found them like nine, 10 months ago. So this is a molting from a dragonfly and we're gonna put him inside of there. And at the end of the video, I'll throw up some dimensions and a few quick tips if you wanted to build one. Now this is an important step. We're going to take our piece and we're going to put it inside of a vacuum chamber. When we put a vacuum on it, that's going to pull air from the wood, making all these bubbles. When we release the vacuum, that air that we drew out of the wood is going to be replaced with resin. That's going to give us a better bond and it'll also prevent bubbles from forming inside the epoxy as it cures. All right, so here it is out of the mold. It's looking pretty good. I'm liking it. As you can see though, we've got a lot of cleanup to do. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. We've got to get rid of all this extra epoxy and get this thing trimmed down and sanded, all smoothed out. So the epoxy that I used is a very slow setting, thin, very thin epoxy. Being a thin epoxy, that helps us get all the air bubbles out. And with the addition of the vacuum, that's how we get this very clean look. There's no air bubbles left. So there's this silicone that's left on here. Now it's basically rubber, which makes this thing grippy. So it's kind of hard to machine it. So what I do is I take some sawdust out of my sander and just rub it on there. And that takes the tackiness away so I can run this smoothly across my table saw.
Every now and again, there's a stubborn bubble that gets stuck up in one of these voids. UV resin is perfect for getting it filled, sanded, and getting back to business. Now for the part that I dread. After sanding with the random orbital to 220 grit, I start wet sanding with 300 grit, working to 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1500, and 2000. With each grit, the clarity improves slowly, refining the scratches towards a polish, and you get a sharper image of what is within. You want to make absolutely sure that you get all the scratches out from the previous grit before working forwards, or you'll end up working backwards. And it takes forever, especially if you're doing a few of these. All right, so there she is in action. Now, a couple of tips I want to give. First of all, I started with four-quarter lumber, and I try to leave that as wide as I can. The reason being that you want to keep the footprint of that as wide as it can be. That helps with the stability. Now, there's always a little bit of room uh, for air with this because you can move the bottle in and out of the hole to help balance. So when I first made this, I started it out and I cut it long on the bottom and then I just nibbled away at it until I found the balancing point that I wanted. Now if you make these out of solid wood, the dimensions are probably going to change because of the weight of the epoxy. Or depending on the density of the wood that you use, your balance may be different. All right, 
So I hope you guys thought that came out as good as I did. That's pretty sweet. As always, take care, stay safe, take it easy. Hope to see you back here soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta do the joke of the day. I almost forgot. Um, I can't tell that one. You know, there's just there's some jokes. It's just like, yeah, better not tell that. It's kind of hard coming up with a joke. All right. So this guy goes into a job interview, and they're going through the interview, and the interviewer, they get to the part where he says, so tell me what your biggest weakness is. The guy looks at him and says, man, he's like, I'm too honest. He's like, I cannot be anything except for honest with people. You know, that's my biggest fault. And the interviewer says, that's great. That's incredible. He's like, we're looking for people like that. You know, I think that's fantastic. And the guy looks at him and he says, I don't give a what you think.